Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you a very simple app using Shiny, which is a data visualization package in R, and how I build this package and finally give you some resources for you so that you can go and build your own Shiny app. Okay, so this package is called the binomial demo. So given the probability P, the number of trials N, the number of observations, that means how many random variables that you own, this app generates the data and visualize it using different methods. Okay, one is using a plot visual and the other one is a summary. And the last one is a table of the data. Okay. So every Shiny app has two main script. One is called UI.R and the other one is called the server.R. UI means the user interface and server means what happens in the back end. Okay, so I'm going to go over those scripts. Before that, let me show you how this app works. So you can change the probability by sliding this button, the number of trials and also the number of observations and you can also opt to have a normal distribution overlaid over this top of the histogram that is one of the tabs and the second one is the summary which shows the the summary of the data using the minimum maximum median mean first and the third quartile and finally the table okay so let's go over those two files the UI.R is essentially what the user is going to see when they run the app. Okay, so you load with library Shiny and indicate it's a UI script by saying Shiny UI. And in this case, I said page with sidebar so that you have a sidebar here and then main panel is over here. So in the header panel, I said put the binomial demo as a title and in the sidebar, I said I wanted three sliders and one checkbox. Okay, so these sliders are going to be on probability, the number of trials, number of observations. So these are going to be chosen by the end user. Okay, in the slider input, you can have the minimum, the maximum value of that specific parameter and the default value indicated by value and the step size so when I increase the probability it's going to go from 0 0.6 to 0 0.65 okay and then for the normal overlay I said checkbox input so whether you want it or not the default is going to be false and the main panel in here is going to have three tabs so I said tab set panel and the first panel is going to have the plot, the plot output. The second one is a summary, which is verbatim text output. And the final one is going to be the table output. Okay. So, like I said, by reading UI.R, you can imagine how the app is going to look like for the end user. So, the server.R is the one that's going to be working on the back end to generate the data and do the processing so that you can see your app in action okay so the same way you load by library shiny and in this case you use the function shiny server to indicate the server file <clears throat> the function input and output and then I create the data right here using this reactive function so this react reactive function is there to say According to the user input, change my data, okay? Whenever I change this P, N, or the number of observation, it's going to change. That's how I generate this data using our binomial function in R. So the first output is the output plot using the render plot function. So it's going to take this N, P, and X just to create the title. Since I already have the data, I'm going to generate a histogram. And finally, I have an if statement saying if the normal distribution overlay is check, checked, then add this curve on top of the histogram. 
So the second tab is going to be the summary. So I'll put summary in here. I mentioned render print. Okay, this is one of the output. One way you can show the output. So I use the summary function from R, summary of the data. Okay. The final tab is going to be the table, which shows the raw data as it is. So I use this render table function and I make a data frame out of the data and just display it right here. Okay, so this is a very simple app that you can build quickly in order to generate binomial random variable and visualize it in different ways. Okay, but with Shiny, you can create much more sophisticated app with much more, much more uh, scripts than just the UI and server.r so that you can enhance what you visualize in your setting. Okay, so if you want to learn more about that, you can go to shinyrstudio.com slash tutorial, which has very, very simple and very nice instruction, step-by-step -step instruction how you can build your own app. And then I also would like to introduce this website shinyapps.io which is a website where you can host your app so that you can go and edit it in the future and also you can let other people use your app. So in order to open my app, I just go to the shinyapps.io, my homepage, and click this URL in order to see the app that I created. Okay, I hope this video was um, informative for you to build your own app and I wish you good luck generating your own shiny app. Thank you.